Tic Tac at Tivoli Gardens is one of the craziest looking flat rides in the world. Mondial shakes are mesmerizing rides in their own, but this one is plussed by theming, lighting, and fog. But is this ride as wild as it looks? Find out in this review. Tic Tac opened in 2018 for Tivoli's 175th anniversary at a cost of 4.5 million US dollars. This is a Mondial shake and it fittingly replaced a very similar ride in Snore Toppin or Spinning Top, which was the park's Husk Breakdance. Both rides feature clusters of cars arranged in groups of fours. This cluster rotates in a small circle about itself, while the clusters themselves also complete a larger revolution around the main platform, and the individual cars can also spin 360 degrees, resulting in a super dizzying ride. Shakes add one more rotational axis, Along with the cars spinning side to side, the vehicles can rock forwards and backwards, and even fully invert at points. This makes the ride even more intense and disorienting. Tic Tac was the first Mondial Shake added to Scandinavia, and I believe it was only the second model added to an amusement park. Most of the previous installations were portable models found in the fair circuit. Tic Tac translates to TikTok, and you could say it's featured in a lot of people's TikToks now. Sorry, I couldn't resist. A lot of the ride's budget went to theming and stylizing the attraction, and is one of the most visually stunning rides on Earth. The ride is housed in a covered pavilion, and the roof features a giant and ornate clock. It looks like an expensive watch face. The platform is a checkered pattern to stand out, and the vehicles have a steampunk vibe to them to match the other nearby attractions. Then the motion is enhanced by lighting and fog, giving it a dance club atmosphere. Tic Tac is one of the park's more popular rides, I've only visited this park on weekends, but Tic Tac has carried a 30-ish minute wait in both my visits. The ride features 20 vehicles, each seating up to two riders. The ride takes a little bit to load because of the number of the vehicles and the strict loose article policy. Guests are highly encouraged to empty their pockets entirely, and all guests are required to remove eyeglasses, even if they're secured with a strap. These belongings are placed in bins in the center of the ride platform. Now I'm not the biggest fan of the ride vehicles, they're extremely cramped. This is an issue with all the shakes. You don't have too much leg room, but the bigger issue for me is the lack of elbow room. You are really boxed in. Then all riders are secured by a snug over the shoulder harness. Once the ride starts, it is a chaotic blur. You lose all sense of direction. You have the rotational pattern of a breakdance with non-stop rocking added in, and when paired with the lighting, it is easy to get dizzy. But what about the forces? The platform moves at a pretty good clip. The spinning reminds me of an above average break dance. You get some nice whip when the rotation of the cluster and the main pattern are synchronized. And if your vehicle starts rotating a full 360 degrees at this point, boy is it crazy. The ride doesn't offer as many flips as it appears though. I've only gotten one or two full flips in each of my rides. What usually happens is the vehicle will violently rock forwards or backwards. It's particularly thrilling when you rock forwards towards the platform. It creates a really interesting head chopper because it feels like you'll face plant right into it. Some of these rocks were severe enough to stall the vehicle upside down for a second or two, which offered some wonderful and super disorienting hang time because the spinning does not stop when this takes place. And along with this motion being downright fun, Tivoli runs a long cycle on this ride. That's a trait shared across most of their flat rides. So what would I rate Tic Tac? I would give this flat ride a 9 out of 10. I absolutely love what this ride does with its presentation. It heightens the on and off ride experience. Then the motion is absolutely addictive. The mixture of spinning and hang time results in an intense ride that keeps you on your toes. It never gets monotonous like some flats do. With Vertigo's removal, this is now my favorite flat ride at Tivoli. The only reason this ride doesn't get a perfect 10 is because there are some crazier shakes out there. Whereas I only got one or two full flips on Tic Tac, the ones on the German fair circuit are running at an even faster rate and they dish out dozens of flips. Just check out my POV of the one I experienced at the Rhine Kermis fair this past summer. It really is special when this ride type can chain multiple flips in a row. So while Tic Tac doesn't quite match the power of these rides, the enhanced presentation does help close the gap. So those are my thoughts on Tic Tac at Tivoli Gardens. What are your thoughts on this flat ride? Is it your favorite flat Tivoli as well? Let me know down below. If you enjoyed this review, 
I'd appreciate it if you gave this video a like and you considered subscribing because there'll be a lot more roller coaster and amusement park videos here at Canopy Coaster. Thanks for watching.